Hey everyone, Dr. O. So in this video, we're gonna cover the third biggest benefit of fasting, which is that you learn what true hunger is. So let's start at the beginning. Fasting helps you tell the difference between psychological appetite and physiological hunger. I always like to say that hunger is a physiological need for food. Appetite is a psychological want, right? If you're hungry enough, broccoli will satisfy your hungry hunger. But if you have an appetite for a donut or chips or something, then it clearly won't. So fasting helps you learn the difference between when you're truly hungry and when you just have an appetite for something. I mean, it's amazing how often we crave foods and we're not hungry. We literally ate an hour ago and we're craving something, or we just ate a whole supper and now we're craving dessert. So usually when you start a fast, when you wake up in the morning, on a fasting day. Your hunger is gonna be the strongest around three to four hours into it. But what's really, really cool is then it subsides. It goes away for periods of time. Hunger comes, hunger goes all the time. Now you may not know that if you've never actually fasted because hunger comes and then you feed that hunger or appetite comes and you feed that appetite. But when you're on a, a fast and you fast long enough, you will realize your hunger comes and your hunger goes. I'm not lying when I tell you that there are times when I'm fasting that I do not feel hungry at all. And I definitely don't feel any more hungry than on days that I'm eating. So to me, it's an extremely powerful feeling when you get hungry and you do nothing about it and it subsides, right? Because then you realize you actually have power over your hunger. You, you, you didn't get sick, you didn't die, nothing bad happened, you got hungry, you did nothing about it, and that hunger went away. Which means that you know hunger's coming from, from timing, from signals in your brain, from things in our environment, all these kind of things. But you truly learn what true hunger is when you're on a fast. All right, so think about it this way too. You are equally hungry in the morning, at least I am, whether I ate the day before or not. Right, so whether you had no supper last night, or you had a small supper last night, or you had a huge supper last night, you will often have the equal, the same amount of hunger the following morning. Sometimes, honestly, I actually get more hungry if I ate a big dinner. So there are times that I'll wake up in the morning and I didn't have supper at all, and I'm not very hungry. Or there are times that I'll wake up in the morning and I had had a huge supper the night before, and I'm starving. I might even wake up at three in the morning or something and, and feel hunger. So this was the thing that surprised me the most about fasting. It's like, God, I didn't even, I couldn't even remember. Did I eat yesterday? Did I not eat yesterday? Because because my hunger in the morning didn't change. So just think about that. You will learn what it truly means to be hungry and then you'll be able to control it. And that's why fasting benefit three really ties into the next one, which you will develop a much better relationship with your food. So I'll, I'll explain that in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.